Welcome to a land of extraordinary beauty and wonder, where vast expanses of untouched wilderness meet vibrant cultural traditions honed over centuries. This is Yakutia, a region in the northeastern corner of Siberia that is home to some of the world's most breathtaking landscapes, unique flora and fauna, and a fascinating history dating back to the time of the mammoths. In this video, we will take you on a journey through Yakutia, exploring its rugged terrain, meeting its people and discovering the stories that make it unlike anywhere else on earth. Buckle up and get ready to experience Yakutia in all its awe-inspiring splendor. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video before you start. You open your eyes very early in the morning and it is freezing. Your ancestors have lived on this land for generations and you want to continue this culture. And because you are the adult in the house, you have a family to take care of. You have to be disciplined and strong to survive in such a life. You have to heat the house as soon as you get out of bed, even if we live in the modern age, you don't have an air conditioner or a natural gas line that you can use to heat your house. Because the climate is not suitable for such devices to work. You have to bring wood from outside with the thickest clothes you can find and heat the inside of the house. The most important condition for survival here is to stay warm. When you heat the house, you will fulfill the most important condition of survival. People looking for a new place to live after the Ice Age settled in this region because of the dense population of rivers and fish. They tried to live by hunting and gathering. Just like in the past, the Sokka's food sources today are fish and deer meat. Because the weather is very cold, the region is not suitable for agriculture, so people live on animal food. Yakushin and Russian are generally spoken in Yakutia. Yakushin is completely different and unique from other Turkic languages. It is thought to be the ancestor and oldest of the entire Turkic language family. The Saka are the oldest tribes of eastern Siberia. Today, Yakutia is an autonomous region of Russia. The Yakutia region has a surface area of 3,062,000 square kilometers and covers 17% of Russia's territory. The Saka population in the region is approximately 1 million. As a result, Yakutia is a region that caters to a very small population in a very large area. The Russians have not touched the traditions and customs of the Sakas from the past to the present, so they have been able to preserve their culture for many years. However, they still used the rich coal and diamond mines in the region by levying very high taxes, especially during the Soviet Union. We have made a general introduction about Yakutia. So now let's talk about what a typical day in Yakutia is like. The main source of heating in Yakutia is wood stoves. In the distribution of tasks necessary for the livelihood of the household, the man of the house collects firewood and fishes. The woman of the house cooks and takes care of the children. This is the basic principle of life in Yakutia. The wood-burning stoves are kept burning for nine months of the harsh year and are never extinguished. If they are extinguished, the interior of the house will probably drop below minus 20 degrees Celsius in a very short time, creating a risky environment for human life. Keeping warm is more important to the Sakas than finding food. Do not compare the cold weather in this region with the cold weather in other northern countries. Northern countries are generally more developed than other countries. They have no problems with indoor heating. But these people have to survive with only a wood stove in a climate at least twice as cold as in the Nordic countries. Just as important as heating is the problem of clean potable water. In Yakutia, businesses selling ready-to-drink water are almost non-existent. Water does not flow from the fountains in the houses, plumbing and technology cannot prevent the treatment water from freezing while reaching the houses in the cold below minus 50 degrees. This is why it is really important to find drinking water. During the cold winter months, people go to frozen rivers where there is clean water and cut the ice, carry it to their homes and stockpile it. It is not a job for one person, so the people of Yakutia have to work together to survive. They melt the stockpiles of ice to get to their drinking water. Imagine having to do this just to drink water. It would be a really hard life. In short, if you go to Yakutia as a guest, don't expect water to flow from the taps. 
If you want to wash your hands or drink water, take a container and go to the barrel with clean water inside the house. Another factor that makes life difficult in Yakutia is children. Because the roads are always snowy and icy. Children in the region have to go to school as long as the weather does not drop below minus 55 degrees. If it reaches minus 70 degrees, education is suspended for a while. Imagine, you have to take your child to school on such a cold morning. People in this region have to live life completely according to the rules of nature. The main purpose of these people is not to buy a house and a car and live a nice life. It is to survive in the harshest weather conditions in the world. People prefer fatty foods for breakfast as much as possible. Because fatty foods will make you more resistant to the negative effects of cold weather. When you go out of the house, you will not have a wood-burning stove with you. You are alone with freezing temperatures. Sakas are used to wearing at least four or five layers of clothing on top of each other and this has become a way of life. The winter coats we wear in the West are useless here. People have to wear insulated coats and shoes against the cold weather, often animal furs. This is not a desire, but a necessity for survival. Despite all this, it is still dangerous to stay in the freezing cold for more than an hour. You can lose some limbs due to frostbite. If you are out and about in this region, make sure that the most extremity of your body is protected. Frostbite is a condition that cannot be detected early. If your hands, ears, and nose are no longer cold and you are still exposed to cold weather, it is likely that you have frostbite and you will lose that organ. If they are still cold, there is hope because the cold limb has not yet been frostbite. Let's talk a little bit about education in Yakutia. In the region, children are educated in classes of 8 or 12 students and spend 5 hours a day at school. Russian, English, and Sakha are the main languages taught in Yakutia. Sakha language is one of the oldest language groups of the human language family and is the basis of all Turkic languages. This means that children studying in Yakutia have to learn both their mother tongue and Russian. This is because young people, usually studying at university, do not want to live in the harsh conditions of Yakutia and move to various cities in Russia. There is a system in Yakutia that we are not used to in the West. Students often eat between each class because food is very important for survival in cold weather. They have to stay energized all the time. Even though it is very cold in Yakutia, parents send their children to school without adult supervision. This is because almost all locals know and trust each other. When we go outside the city centers of Yakutia, some villages have less than a thousand people and life in these areas is even more difficult than what we describe in the cities. These people live interdependently. Each one needs the other to survive. People protect each other. In the villages of Yakutia, concepts like racism are not even known. Everyone is equal here. Who would bother with that when you are already struggling to survive in the coldest region of the world? The lives of those who live in this autonomous country are very safe from crime. Because there are no people who come from outside and try to disturb people's peace in Yakutia. Transportation and urban life in Yakutia has to be done by cars and minibuses, because even if the destination is very close, it can be very difficult to get there because of the freezing cold. They may have to drive even for very short distances. Remember that the average weather in the city is around minus 50 degrees and minus 50 degrees is considered normal for life in the city. Haven't you noticed that in the cold countries of the West, when the weather reaches minus 20 degrees Celsius, life is disrupted, buses arrive late and people are late to their destinations. You can better understand how difficult life is here. City centers always look foggy during the day as the smoke from the cars usually turns into fog in a few seconds. In Yakutia, people are careful not to wear glasses in freezing temperatures, because metals can stick to the human body in freezing temperatures, and if the glasses stick to your face, your cheeks, and around your eyes, can be seriously damaged. Anyway, people in Yakutia don't go outside unless they have to. People only go out for work and shopping. Especially in winter, it gets dark in the afternoon and people go back home. 
When traveling in Yakutia, you can see meat and fish stretched out of the windows. People don't use refrigerators and put their animal food outside the house so that it doesn't spoil, because it is three to four times colder outside the house than inside the freezer. Food doesn't spoil in this weather. You may have heard that in the northern countries cars break down more easily because of the cold. Especially if you have a car in Yakutia and you don't take care of it much more than usual, it will probably break down very quickly. Since parking garages are very expensive in Yakutia, cars are always outside, so they are insulated with thick covers. People always keep their cars running even when they are not using them. Because if you turn off the car and go home, your car will freeze during the night and you will not be able to start it again in the morning. There is no need to wait overnight for a car to freeze, vehicles can freeze completely within a few hours in Yakutia. If you want to make a tourist trip here you can visit the ice museums and ice sculptures. They do not melt at any time of the year and are always open to visitors. Houses in Yakutia are usually wooden. Wooden houses keep the inside of the house warmer and allow the heat from the wood stove to stay inside the house. Animals in Yakutia are adapted to the cold weather. If you visit, you will see that horses, cats and dogs are not affected by the cold with as thick fur as possible. Because from the past to the present, species that are resistant to cold weather have been able to continue their generations in the region, while other species have unfortunately disappeared. The men of the house are masters of renovation. In Yakutia, repairing something or producing a product needed at home is not a type of profession. It is a necessity, people constantly make the products they need to use in their homes. They even teach this skill to their sons. At the beginning of our video, I told you that the water coming into the houses freezes in the pipes. There is no drinking water and there are big problems in the toilet because of the water. Because the toilet drains do not work correctly because they freeze. For this reason, mobile toilets were built outside the houses. People fulfill their toilet needs in these huts in freezing weather. In Yakutia, people do not take a shower unless they have to. Because taking a shower by constantly melting ice molds is a very difficult and laborious task. As in the toilet, a wood fire is heated in a hut outside the house to take a shower, and this fire burns for about 5 hours to ensure that the bathroom reaches the required temperature. After taking a shower, people run home. I think it is a very hard life and one that needs to be respected. Would you live this life or would you give up your culture like some people and move to a city in Russia where you are already a citizen? We have come to the end of our video for today. See you with a new video.